and we are back hello everyone welcome back to five minutes code channel where i will be explaining a solution of every problem of lead code and geeks or geeks within less than five minutes so today's problem of the day is distribute candies in a binary tree which is a hard level problem but i think it's a, a medium type of problem if you have solved enough number of binary tree problems and if you have read the problem statement clearly okay so yeah let's check this out what's what will be given and what we have to do in this problem so we will be given a tree and uh, you know how we will be given a tree tree we will be given only one node that will be the root node of the tree okay so we can traverse all the nodes with the help of root node by left right and everything i think everyone knows that so now uh, what let's see what we have to do so look uh, we will be having a tree and we in which there will be nodes so the nodes value will be representing the amount of coins that node have okay what does this mean so here if you will see three zero zero so it means that three, uh, this node has three coin, this node has zero coin, this node has zero coin. Okay. And what we have to do, we have to return the number of moves required so that every node have at least one coin. Okay. Every node have at least one coin. So if uh, at least one exactly one coin. So three, zero, zero. So here you will see that first of all, let's check this here. So here I have three zero zero. So I will give one coin to this and I will give one coin to this. So everyone will have exactly one coin. So number of moves is two. Okay, and similarly this point. So, uh, and if you and I hope everyone of you might have should have read this problem statement very clearly. Okay, so now the thing is, how are we going to do this? Okay, so yeah, as usual, I have written something for you. So now let's jump onto the note section for it. Okay, all right. So we can only transfer one candy at a time. So basically, I've just uh, summarized the points they are written in the problem. So we can only transfer one candy at a time. What does this mean? This means that if we have, if we have something like this. Okay, something like this tree. So it's not like I can give one candy to this and uh, one candy directly to this. Okay, one candy directly to this. So number of moves required will be two. So no, it's not the case. We can only transfer one candy at a time and we can only transfer node by node. Okay, so what does this mean? This means, first of all, I will give two candies to this and then it will give me two one candy to this. So at last, everyone will be having one one candy. Okay, so this is the thing. So what will be the number of moves required? Two candies moved here and one candy moved here, three. Okay, so this will be our answer. Okay, I think that's clear. That's clear now, guys. And every node should exactly have one candy at last. What does this mean? This means there cannot be any case that one at every candy, every node has one candy or more than one candy. No can no node has more can have more than one candy at last. Okay. So if you will see what will be our answer in this case. Can anyone tell me what will be our answer in this case? Yes, you are correct. It's this case is not possible. This case will never be possible. The cases which will be possible that we can only have exactly one candy at last. Okay. No, uh, like, yeah, I think you guys have got this. Okay. So this point. Now the thing is, how are we going to do this? Problem statement clear. So now let's jump onto the approach. So we will be using the depth first search. Depth first search to start from the leaf nodes. Okay. So yeah. And what I'm going to do for every node, the parent will ask its left and right child how many coins they need. Okay. Or have extra and we will be having one on the counter as our answer okay which will be like uh, counting the number of moves okay so there will be two things answer and what we i will be returning so i will be returning the number of coins required and answer will be storing the number of moves okay i think you guys are getting so yeah when i'm going to solve this uh, dry run one of this so it will be more, more clear so let's check so this is our tree uh, root node is 0, 4, 0, 0, and it is null okay right so here i came to this node at last uh, using dfs i think no you know we will come at the right node so at this it's left it's uh, left is also null it's right is also null okay so uh, this node will ask its parent its children what how many coins you need so they will return zero zero okay because it's nothing zero okay so left zero right zero now four now this will return something to its parent what it will return it will it will return left plus right minus one and minus its own value so what does this mean this means that it has zero value left is zero right is zero and minus one so it will return minus one it means what it means it needs one coin it means it needs one coin okay now here again what it will return minus one okay so now look answer will be what answer why every time i will update the answer by the absolute value of left and right so now at this point minus one minus one means one one that is two so two what does this mean what does this mean this means that if I'm if I got the sufficient coins here, so in two moves I can make its left like all the left nodes and all the right nodes have exactly one coin in two two moves. Okay, so two is now. Okay, okay. I think you guys are getting. Similarly, now look minus one I got minus one I got. So now what I will return to this? I return minus one 
look first of all the node the root value that is 4 minus 1 minus 1 and 1 of its own okay so it will be 1 it means what it means that it has one extra coin it has one extra coin so it will return to this okay now again i will look whatever i will get from left and right i will just add to my answer so 2 plus 1 that is 3 now my answer is 3 okay so now uh, this node has 0 and what it means one it means one has extra coin one extra coin is there so that extra coin will come here so 3 will be our answer okay i think you guys have got this uh, let's check this out one more test case because it's a bit tricky to understand okay so my answer is a 0 at present okay answer is let's say 0 now at this point it will ask its children so both have null null so it will return minus one so look root dot value minus left minus right minus one so root dot value zero left and right is zero and minus one for this so it will return minus one to this okay it return minus one means uh, this node needs minus one coin one coin needs one coin okay and this will also return minus one so what i will add look i got left and right minus one so i will add the absolute values of two uh, these two so that is two one plus one two okay all right that's great so now what this will return to this look they need one one coin and they it itself need one 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 coin so it will return minus three okay it needs minus it will return minus three so now from here uh, right is now zero so again this minus three i will add absolute value of it three so total number of moves will be five okay and 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 so look three here is coming here minus three it means the children the left node the left tree of this needs three coins needs three coins okay so yeah that is it so basically what does this mean this mean look minus one minus one means if uh, if i got the coin here so if i got the coin here, so in minus one minus one two no moves all will get the uh, nodes okay so basically two things are going here first of all how many coins are needed and required and second thing is how many number of moves okay so number of moves will be what math dot absolute of left and right and number of coins required will be what root dot value plus left plus right minus one okay all right so i think the approach will be clear now let's jump on to the code section for it and write the code and it the problem will be crystal clear to you okay okay let's write the code for it so first of all int answer equal to zero no oh, answer let's take as answer uh, as i told we will be having two things first one answer and uh, another thing will be returning the number of coins needed or required okay so two things other that's why i taken one as global variable so that uh, returning second should not make an issue and after that i will take all my dfs with the root and uh, yeah that's it in the after that i will return the answer something like this let's declare the function as public int dfs of node root and uh, let's write the base case if root equal to null it means uh, that that node is null so we will return zero we can't do anything okay and after that int l equal to dfs of root dot left int r equal to dfs of root dot right and yeah what i told answer what should be answer answer will be answer plus math dot absolute of l plus math dot absolute of right okay so yeah why what why will be doing this because at any point the sum of its left and right will be returning the number of moves okay in positive or negative so we will be doing something like this and uh, after that what i told we'll be returning root dot data plus left plus right minus one which means what which means uh, it will be returning the number of extra coins they need or they have okay so if they need if left needs some coins it will be minus in negative if rights need some coin it will be in negative otherwise they will be positive and this minus one will be written meaning that that node that current node need exactly one coin so that's why you minus one okay all right so yeah one more thing i will be returning this is static from here removing because otherwise we have to i have to declare this is static i have to declare this is static so let's just remove it let's check now i think it should get accepted so yeah it's running let's try to submit this so meanwhile, if you love the solution, please don't forget to subscribe the channel. And one more thing, please uh, sit with a pen and paper and please dry run it with a few number of uh, cases so that it will become more clear to you. And please subscribe the channel if you love the solution. And please, uh, if you have any, if you need any guidance, please book a top mid call with me. And uh, yeah, I'm going to see you again tomorrow. Till then, keep on coding and bye.